Okay guys, so as you can see, I am sitting in front of my computer and I decided to share this Ready, Set, Apply. Getting ready for affordable housing in New York City, okay? So let's just move along. So here we have the content, right? And the first one says, learn about your affordable housing options, okay? So let's scroll down. Well, also here's the contents and the second one says, get ready to apply. The third one says, apply. The fourth one says, be ready in case you get an interview. And number five says, resources. So number two, get ready to apply. What is affordable housing? Housing is usually considered affordable if it costs about one third or less of what the people living there make. Different kinds of affordable housing are available for families with different incomes. In this guide, affordable housing means apartments that are part of government affordable housing programs. It focuses on housing subsidized by the New York City Department of Housing Preservation and Development and Housing Development Corporation. The information in this guide will help you improve your application for many different kinds of affordable housing programs and for housing on the private market too. So let's look at the income here. Excuse the phone call. Let's look at the income here. Income, it says rent one third or less. You see that little circle pie? Everything else two thirds or more. So let's scroll down. It says who qualifies for affordable housing? Anyone can apply, but you must be at least 18 years old. You probably need a social security number or individual taxpayer identification number. New York City residents usually have priority for HPD and HDC housing. Your income needs to be in a specific range, which changes depending on how many people live with you and is set by each housing program. Let's scroll down. And check out the cute little uh, art, okay? I okay, guys, so let's just scroll down to the next part. Know your housing court history, credit report. Okay, so I'm going to read to the left side of the screen here first, credit report. Know your credit history. Landlords can't disqualify you based on your credit score alone, but they may check your credit history. Make sure the information in your credit report is correct and take steps to improve your credit score if you need to. Get your free credit report at annualcreditreport.com. You can fix errors on your credit report by filing a request online by phone or by sending a letter to the credit reporting company. Get help understanding your credit report and learn how to improve your credit score from a free professional financial counselor. Go to nyc.gov forward slash consumers for more information or call 311 and ask to make an appointment at an NYC Financial Empowerment Center. Know your housing court history. Landlords may check to see if you've been taken to housing court or evicted. Check your history ahead of time so that you can address any issues and be ready to answer questions if they come up. Find and print a record of your history on public computers available at housing court locations. Go to nycourts.gov forward slash court forward slash NYC forward slash housing for locations and more information. 
Clear up judgments against you by asking for help from a lawyer at housing court or visit nycourts.gov for information on getting legal help. So right here to your right, it says start saving, right? And I really love all the little cute art, okay? Start saving. Okay? You should save at least two months rent to cover the first month and security deposit. You might want to save even more to cover your moving expenses. Start saving for your move by finding a savings account that earns interest with a bank or credit union. If you have an ID NYC card, you can use it to open an account at many banks and credit unions. Go to on.nyc.gov forward slash ID NYC banks to find out where. For help creating a budget saving for opening a bank account, visit in NYC Financial Empowerment Center. For more information, go to nyc.gov slash consumers or call 311 and ask to make an appointment at an NYC Financial Empowerment Center. Number three, it says apply. So it says once you started working on your credit, housing court history, and savings, start applying for affordable housing. So here we are where it says set up your Housing Connect profile. The first step in applying for affordable housing is to create a Housing Connect profile at nyc.gov slash housing connect you'll need information about the incomes of everyone who will live in the apartment okay so here is showing you this little drawing the same income part-time job public assistance other part-time jobs child support so you have to include everything Okay, so here it says, on the right-hand side, it says, income includes money you make from a regular job, owning your own business, and or part-time work. It also includes other money you get from workers' compensation, the government, like Social Security, or public assistance, and certain payments from investments and retirement. Most of this information will be on the tax return you filed last year. If you work for someone else, include the amount you are paid before taxes, called gross income. If you work for yourself, include the amount you make after taxes and other deductions, called net income. If you need more help understanding what counts, as income, check out HPD's Income Guide for Affordable Housing Applicants at nyc.gov slash hpd slash income guide. Now here it says search for apartments and it also says apply. So we can read this. I'm willing to read it for you. So search for apartments. It says use the search page on Housing Connect to find affordable housing listings. Click the name to learn if you qualify for a building's lottery. It's called a lottery because that's how it works. All applications go into a big pool and are picked randomly. You can also find listings in newspapers and on HPD's and HDC's websites at nyc.gov slash hpd and nychdc.com. Every listing will show how many apartments are available, how many people can live in each apartment, the income range your household has to fall in to qualify, and when the application is due. Okay? 
so here it says if the income of your household is too high or too low for the building you won't qualify apply to lotteries for buildings that fit the number of people living with you and match the income range of what everyone makes some apartments are reserved for people in specific situations including if you have a mobility hearing or vision disability live in the same community district work for the city if any of these apply to you make sure to include it on your profile and in your lottery applications keep your housing connect profile up to date for example if you get a new job or lose a job make sure to update it check your profile every time you apply to a new building now here it says apply if you find a building you qualify for click apply next to the listing to start your application you can also fill out a paper application and submit it by mail each listing will have information on how to get a paper application there will be information on the application that tells you where to mail it it takes several days to receive a paper application in the mail so if the deadline is coming up think about applying online paper and online applications are treated the same way in the lottery apply before the deadline the application period can last from a few weeks to a couple of months so leave yourself enough time as long as you apply before the deadline it doesn't matter when you submit your application duplicate applications may be disqualified so don't send more than one application don't send both paper and online applications either so here it says after you apply it can take a year or longer to hear about your application and sometimes you might not hear back while you're waiting carefully check what your current lease says about moving out before the lease is over if you're offered an apartment you might need to move quickly just because you qualify doesn't mean your application will be selected in the lottery if you aren't selected or don't hear back keep searching for other apartments and apply when you're ready number four be ready in case you get an interview okay and it says if your application is selected you'll be invited to a screening interview with agents from the building this interview is very important agents from the building will confirm if you qualify for the apartment you applied for get ready ahead of time to make sure you are prepared and here it says get important documents together at the interview you'll need to show documents sorry about that get important documents together at the interview you'll need to show documents that prove the information you put in your application start collecting copies today you'll have to show who live with you examples birth certificates social security cards picture ids the incomes of everyone who will live with you examples pay stubs federal and state tax returns proof of social security veteran or public assistance benefits income information about your current apartment examples your current lease receipts for rent recent gas or electric bills if you need help getting copies of these documents go to hpd's website nyc.gov forward slash hpd forward slash after you apply 
And to the right, it says, get ready for the screening interview. And it says, you'll get a letter or email with instructions on how to schedule your screening interview. Anyone who is 18 or older who will live in the apartment needs to go to the interview. To schedule your interview, contact the building agent listed on the letter. Reschedule your interview if you need to by calling the number on the letter as soon as possible. Most agents ask for at least 24 hours notice. The agent will tell you what forms you need to bring. If you have questions, call the number listed on your letter. And here at the bottom, it says after the screening interview, and here's notes. I guess you can take your own notes. So after the screening interview, it says you might have to do some follow-up steps to make sure your application is complete after that. Your application might be accepted. You have to go through a few more steps before you decide if you want to sign a lease. You might be put on a wait list which can last up to two years the agent might contact you to update your information contact them if you want to be removed from the list you might get a rejection letter saying you don't qualify and the reason why if this happens you have the right to appeal this means you'll get a chance to explain why you think the decision was in was not correct if you want to appeal act quickly you have 10 business days from the date of the postmark of the letter to submit an appeal submit a letter to the building agent explaining why you think you should not have been turned down include any documents that support your appeal the rejection letter will tell you where to send it. The building agents will review your appeal and send you a letter with the outcome. If the appeal is successful, you'll either receive an approval letter, an approval letter or be put on the wait list. If your appeal is not successful, you'll receive a rejection letter. If you think there's still an error, you can contact the agency, HPD or HDC, within five business days with the complaint. Be sure to include an explanation of why you think there's an error. The letter will tell you which agency to contact and how. If you are put on a wait list or receive a rejection letter, Applications you've submitted to other builders are still active. Keep working on getting ready in case you are selected for another building. And here's notes. So I guess it's important after you've done the screening, please take notes, you know, so that if things didn't work with that first interview, maybe when you get selected the second time, it will work. Okay. And at the very end, these are resources and they state find and apply for affordable housing at newyorkcity.gov slash housing housing connect find other city subsidized housing opportunities hpd's website nyc.gov slash hpd slash rental opportunities hdc's website nychdc.com pages slash now renting dot html get help finding and applying for affordable housing nyc.gov slash hpd slash find housing you can also get help from a housing ambassador these are community organizations find one at nyc.gov slash hpd slash find housing resources Prepare to apply for affordable housing with free professional one-on-one -on -one financial counseling at an NYC Financial Empowerment Center.
Visit nyc.gov slash consumers for more information or call 311 and ask to make an appointment at an NYC Financial Empowerment Center. Okay, so it tells you here, find out more. Thank you so much for watching the video and I hope that you have a wonderful day and remember you can always go to these websites and you can check things out for yourself. You can read for yourself. I know I read this because I thought sometimes this might help people who probably didn't want to read it. Hopefully my reading is pretty decent and you can understand me. But that's all you got to do, guys. If you are interested in Housing Connect or affordable housing, always make sure to check the website. Do not hesitate. Make sure you follow the guidelines. Make sure your income fits the brackets of the apartment that you are applying for. Okay, and make sure whoever is on your application to get one of these apartments, make sure they want to move forward with you. Because if they don't, if that application locks in their system, in Housing Connect system, they can't change it. Okay, let's just say it's yourself. It's your husband and it's your brother. And all of a sudden, your brother says, oh, I don't want to move. That can mess you and your husband up because they are only going to move forward with the three of you because it already locked. So be careful who you put on your application. Know that they want to move forward with you. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.